I'm going to quickly show you how to run C or C++ in Visual Studio Code. To do this, we need to do two things, install MinGW and set up VS Code for C or C++ programming. First, let's download and install MinGW. Click on the first link in the description and click over here to download the installer. Once it's downloaded, open it up. Click on Next. Here, make sure to note down this install location since we will need it later. Click on Next and it should start installing. Once it is done, click on Finish. Once you click on Finish, this terminal should open up. If it didn't, search up MSYS2 and open it. Now copy and paste this command, which will be in the description. Press Enter to run it. Press Y and then Enter. Now MinGW will start installing. Once it's done, close the terminal. Now go to the install location of MinGW we noted down earlier. Then open up this folder named UCRT64 and open the bin folder. Copy this file path. Search up system environment variables and click on edit system environment variables. Click on environment variables. Then click on the variable named path and click on edit. Click on new and paste in the file path we copied. If you don't see a path variable here, click on new and name it path with a capital P and paste in the file path we copied. Now let's check if we installed MinGW correctly. Search up command prompt and open it. Then type gcc space hyphen hyphen version and press enter. If you installed it correctly, you should see something similar to this. Also check g++ space hyphen hyphen version. If you see an output similar to this, then you've successfully installed MinGW. Next, let's set up VS Code for C and C++ programming. Click on this button to open up the Extensions tab. Then search for C Extension Pack. Download this extension provided by Microsoft. Next, search for Code Runner. And install that as well. Click on this Explorer button and click on Open Folder. Then select a folder to save your project in. And click on this button to create a new file. Name it whatever you want. Then end it with a .c if you want a C file or .cpp if you want a C++ file. Now you can start coding in C or C++. To run the code, save the file by pressing Ctrl and S and then click over here and click on Run Code. 